This video has a special treat for all of you Outlander and James Bond fans. Sam Hewen, the actor who plays Jamie Fraser in Outlander, sits down with us to talk about his boring audition for the role of James Bond. But he's not the only famous actor to have failed the audition. We'll also take a look at some other big names who didn't cut the iconic role. Stay tuned for an entertaining and insightful conversation with Sam Hewen. First up, a brief overview of Sam Hewen's career and his potential interest in playing James Bond. Sam Hewen is a Scottish actor best known for his role as Jamie Fraser in the popular TV series Outlander. Hewen has received critical acclaim for his performance in the series, earning multiple award nominations and a devoted fan base. Before his breakout role in Outlander, Hewen appeared in a variety of television shows and films, including Doctors, Heart of Lightness, and A Princess for Christmas. He has also had successful stage performances, including a lead role in the play Outlying Islands. In recent years, Hewen's name has been floated as a potential candidate to play the iconic role of James Bond. Hewen has expressed interest in the role and has even undergone an audition for the part. While he has not yet been selected to play Bond, Hewen's acting skills and charisma make him a strong contender for the role. Overall, Hewen's career has been marked by diverse and impressive performances, making him a valuable asset to any project he takes on. Whether he eventually lands the role of Bond or continues to build on his already successful career, Hewen will continue captivating audiences with his talent and charm. Next is Hewen's audition for Bond. Sam Hewen has spoken publicly about his audition for the role of James Bond. According to Hewen, the audition process was rigorous and involved multiple auditions and screen tests. Hewen stated that he had to prepare various scenes and monologues, including some that required physical performance and action sequences. Regarding his thoughts and feelings about the audition, Hewen has described the experience as both exciting and intimidating. He was thrilled to have the opportunity to audition for such a high-profile and iconic role, but he also felt the pressure to deliver a strong performance. Hewen said he did his best to stay focused and give it his all, but he was ultimately unsuccessful in securing the role. Despite not being chosen to play Bond, Hewen has said he is grateful for the opportunity to audition and learned much from the experience. He remains open to playing Bond in the future and has stated that he would jump at the chance if the opportunity arose again. Now for Hewen's comments on the boring nature of the audition. In an interview, Sam Hewen described the Bond audition as boring. When asked to explain this comment, Hewen elaborated that the audition process was structured and formulaic, focusing on technical aspects rather than creative interpretation. Hewen stated that this approach was somewhat stifling, as it did not allow much room for creativity or personal expression. In contrast, Hewen has spoken about other acting opportunities or auditions that he has had as much more exciting. He has described these experiences as more collaborative and open-ended, allowing him to explore the character and bring his ideas to the table. It's worth noting that Hewen's comments about the boring nature of the Bond audition should be taken in context. He spoke about his personal experience and perspective. Other actors might have had a different experience. Additionally, the audition process for a high-profile role like Bond is likely to be very different from other auditions, as there is a lot at stake, and the stakes are high. Ultimately, it's up to each actor to decide how they feel about the audition process and whether they feel it was boring. So, Hewen's comments should not be taken as a blanket statement about the Bond audition process as a whole. Finally, Hewen's thoughts on the future of Bond and the role of James Bond. As a fan of the James Bond franchise and someone who has expressed interest in playing the role, Sam Hewen has shared his thoughts on the future of Bond and the challenges and opportunities 
opportunities that the next actor to play the character will face. One of Hewen's ideas for modernizing the Bond character is to bring a greater emotional depth and vulnerability to the role. He has spoken about the need to move beyond the traditional tough guy stereotype and explore the complexity and humanity of Bond as a character. Hewen has also suggested that the Bond franchise could benefit from a greater diversity of perspectives and voices, both behind and in front of the camera. As for the challenges and opportunities facing the next actor to play Bond, Hewen has emphasized the importance of finding the right balance between respecting the character's legacy and bringing something new and fresh to the role. He has also highlighted the need for the actor to be physically fit and able to handle the demanding action scenes that are a staple of Bond films. Overall, Hewen believes that the next actor to play Bond has the opportunity to make a real impact and to bring the character into the 21st century in a meaningful way. Famous Actors Who Failed Their James Bond Audition James Bond Franchise and the Iconic Role of Bond The James Bond Franchise is a series of films based on the fictional character of James Bond, a British secret agent created by novelist Ian Fleming. The franchise began in 1962 with the film Dr. No and has since become one of the longest running and most successful film series in history, with a total of 25 official Bond films released to date. The films follow the adventures of Bond, known for his suave demeanor, sophisticated taste, and skilled use of gadgets and weapons. The role of James Bond has been played by several actors, including Sean Connery, George Lazenby, Roger Moore, Timothy Dalton, Pierce Brosnan, and Daniel Craig. Each actor has brought their unique interpretation to the character, and the Bond films have featured a variety of storylines and settings, including exotic locations, high-stakes action sequences, and elaborate villains. The casting process for Bond actors is extremely rigorous, with actors from around the world vying for the coveted role. Producers and studio executives typically hold auditions and screen tests to find the actor who best fits the character of Bond. The process can take months or even years. Ultimately, only a select few actors are chosen to play the role. Despite the competition, many actors see the role of Bond as a career-defining opportunity, and the chance to portray the iconic character is highly sought after in the industry. Next up, Henry Cavill. Henry Cavill is a British actor best known for portraying Superman in the DC Comics movie franchise. He has also appeared in other notable films, such as The Tudors, Mission Impossible, Fallout, and The Witcher. There have been reports that Cavill auditioned for the role of James Bond in 2005, but ultimately lost out to Daniel Craig. According to Cavill, he did not get very far in the audition process, as he was told that he was too young to play Bond. In an interview with GQ, Cavill stated that he was gutted when he found out he didn't get the role, but he also added that he understood why he wasn't chosen, and that he has no regrets about the experience. However, in spite of not getting the role, Cavill's career has continued to thrive, and he remains a popular and respected actor in the industry. Next is... Sean Bean Sean Bean is a British actor, known for his roles in films such as The Lord of the Rings, Game of Thrones, and GoldenEye. He has also appeared in numerous stage productions and television shows. There have been reports that Bean auditioned for the role of James Bond in the mid-1990s, but ultimately lost out to Pierce Brosnan. According to Bean, he was a strong contender for the role and was one of the final actors being considered. However, he was was not selected in the end, and the role went to Brosnan. Bean has had a successful and varied career, and he certainly had a lot of powerful performances during his time as an actor. Next, Terence Stamp. Terence Stamp is an English actor who has appeared in numerous films, stage productions, and television shows throughout his career. Some of his notable roles include General Zod in Superman 2, Bill Hayden in The Adventures of Priscilla, Queen of the Desert, and Terence in The Limey. There have been reports that Stamp auditioned for the role of James Bond in the 1960s, but ultimately lost out to Sean Connery. According to Stamp, he was one of the actors being considered for the role, and even 
even had a screen test, but he was not selected in the end. Despite not landing the role of Bond, Stamp has put his stamp on the industry in his own way, and his talented acting abilities have shown in the roles he was chosen for. Finally, Rafe Fiennes. Ray Fiennes is an English actor, director, and producer who has appeared in numerous films, stage productions, and television shows throughout his career. Some of his notable roles include Lord Voldemort in the Harry Potter film series, Hades in Percy Jackson and the Olympians, The Lightning Thief, and M in the James Bond film franchise. While Fiennes ultimately did land the role of M in the James Bond film franchise, there have been reports that he originally auditioned for for the role of James Bond in the mid-1990s, but ultimately lost out to Pierce Brosnan. According to Fiennes, he was close to getting the role, but was not chosen by the end of it. In all honesty, Fiennes has left a strong impact on the industry with the roles he has done, and we can't imagine anyone else having done a better job as Lord Voldemort. Thank you for watching. If you liked this video, like and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this, and don't forget to to leave a comment below letting us know what you think. We love hearing from you.